Commuters in Sydney are being warned to prepare for peak hour disruptions as bus drivers continue strike action across the city's south and inner west. Drivers are furious at New South Wales government plans to privatise certain bus routes. Reporter Mark Reddy is at Leichhardt Bus Depot. Around 230 bus routes are being impacted as more than 1,000 bus drivers walk off the job for 24 hours. They're furious at New South Wales government plans to privatise many routes in Sydney's south and inner west. So the bus services that are being affected include those in the 400s and also services running along Parramatta Road and across the Anzac Bridge. There was heavy traffic on the roads this morning as commuters desperately tried to get to work and school using alternative transport options, jumping in taxis and Ubers, some even walking or running to work. Now, the areas that are being affected include San Susi to Silverwater and Glebe to Strathfield. This industrial action is in spite of a ruling late last night by the Industrial Relations Commission saying that any strike would be in fact illegal. Now, the union said that it didn't get time to inform its members to go back to work. But of course, uh, this has created a lot of headaches for commuters. Let's take a listen to some of them now. Um, well, if it's to do with their job security, then by all means, you know, you've got to obviously stand up for yourself and, and um, you know, you're obviously working hard, you know, doing, doing the community a service. They are essential for us and our family, so we'd rather not drive, so good luck to them. I discovered to my luck that one of the services that is running is actually one that I take, so... Yeah, that's and the light rail, so we're very lucky here. Unions fear privatisation could lead to fare increases or job losses, but the New South Wales government says the opposite would happen. They say it would lead to a more efficient transport network, create more job opportunities and that it would make sure that fares remained the same. Here in Leichhardt at the bus depot, it remains very quiet. Not many services running out of here this morning. And uh, it's among four depots that are being impacted, including Tempe, Burwood and Kingsgrove as well. Now, if you are heading home from work or school later today, you might want to think about trying a different form of transport, either kept the train or the light rail service. If you're a student with an Opal card, they will be accepted on trains and light rail services. But if all else fails, uh, maybe put on a pair of good walking shoes or try running home because it will be uh, very difficult to try and get home later today.